Today with us we have Mr. Ashwin Patel who is a senior fundamental analyst at LKB Securities Limited and his area of expertise is the automobile sector and he will deep dive into it. Hi Ashwin, can you kindly explain the current trends in the two wheeler industry? Hello Karthik. Thank you so much for the warm introduction. Uh, first of all I would like to discuss the trends in the two wheeler sector. The trends in the two wheeler sector are not that positive at this point in time. Uh, because uh, since the covid uh, pandemic started the acquisition cost of the two wheelers have gone too much that is about 25 to 30% and the negative trend which started from then has not actually completely recovered there are some ups and downs in the sector like uh, you know a few monthly volumes are doing good like uh, during the festive season and all but the festive season of last year also was not that very strong so uh, you know we are in a territory of uh, negative growth uh, in the two wheeler sector as far as the monthly volumes are con- concerned on the month on month basis but on on the yoy basis there is still some sort of growth that we are seeing in the domestic markets that is a mid single kind of growth and uh, in the exports uh, we are still seeing you know negativity especially in the african markets the latin american markets because of the currency uh, you know issues that the company that the countries are facing over there and uh, going forward i think that on uh, the a, a low base of fy23 if the rural markets recover in fy24 uh, then we may see some sort of growth but uh, the chances of that are less with the el nino coming in you know the weather experts are saying that el nino will be setting up uh, in the in the monsoons of uh, you know cy23 so you know uh, that uh, the positivity uh, you know in the in the two wheeler sector uh, seems a bit far fetched from this point in time so therefore we are not very much positive on the two wheeler sector what is your expectation on the passenger vehicle industry in current fiscal year and as well as the next fiscal year on the demand side also in addition how is the chip shortage issue evolving the trend in the passenger vehicle industry is going quite strong on the demand side this is one of the brightest segment in the automobile sector that we see at this point in time i would say this because we are seeing a very strong growth close to about 20 odd percent on the passenger vehicle industry and especially on the suv side but the production trend is still yet to be recovered from the from the uh, issues that we had seen last year on the uh, chip uh, side that is the semiconductor uh, you know shortage that we had seen over the last uh, one one and a half years it is yet to get completely recovered about 90 to 95% of that has got recovered but still about 5 to 10% especially on the higher variants on the suv side as well as on the sedan side uh, you know we are seeing still some sort of uh, shortage over there and that is why the waiting period for the new vehicles as well as the higher ends or, or the top variants of the uh, existing vehicles are seeing a huge uh, waiting period though it has come down from about 1 1 and a half years that we had seen last year to about 5 to 6 months uh, but still uh, we are seeing that production issue going on but uh, you know once this gets sorted out it's easing uh, you know gradually but once it gets completely sorted out i think that the volume trend which we are seeing will show up a pent up demand in fy24 and early fy25 so you know there is a good visibility of volumes on the passenger vehicle side and therefore we are quite positive uh, you know on this particular segment within the automobile uh, industry what trends are you expecting in the commercial vehicle industry do you think the current trend will continue going forward the trend in the commercial vehicle sector is looking quite heartwarming at this point in time uh, i would say this because uh, you know last year as well the commercial vehicle sector reported quite strong growth so a robust growth continuation is expected in this year as well because we see that uh, uh, the the parameters the underlying parameters for the commercial vehicle industry like the gdp growth the economic uh, development and the iip numbers the industrial growth you know the mining sector the construction sector uh, you know all are seeing quite a good uh, you know inflows from the government on the uh, capex side so i would say that the capex cycle is uh, you know on the positive side at this point in time and because of that the multi axle vehicles the tippers you know which are the main uh, ingredients i would say of the commercial vehicle uh, you know uh, sector are facing quite good demand uh, uh, you know the transportation of uh, the agri produce because uh, you know last year the agri the, the kharif output was quite strong and the rabi output is expected to be equally strong this year 
so because you know the the transportation of agri produce through you know trucks is also uh, one of the main drivers of the commercial vehicle growth uh, so that is uh, you know i would say that uh, leading to a good growth on the commercial vehicle side so uh, about at least about uh, 15 to 20% kind of growth we are expecting on the commercial vehicle side also the schools and the colleges and the offices have started all and uh, that, therefore the bus the bus demand is also looking quite robust at this point in time so uh, on and on i would say that the entire uh, commercial vehicle that is on the passenger as well as on the cargo side are doing really very good in view of al nino do you still believe that the tractor industry will still deliver a steady growth in fy24 the tractor demand which was you know quite strong in fy22 continued the trend in fy23 as well and the industry was not expecting this because a tractor cycle is about you know 2 and 2 2 and a half years long but it has continued for a longer time and in fy23 we are expecting about 5 to 7% at least growth in the tractor segment which was earlier expected to be just about 2 to 3% so you know the the industry is doing well on the tractor side the msps have gone up the tractor demand due to good kharif uh, uh, output uh, you know and the sowing has been very good also the rabi uh, you know the sowing was good and the harvesting is expected to be equally good so the truck and the sorry the tractor demand is uh, you know uh, expected to be good this year as well uh, but going forward i think that fy24 we need to you know see because the impact of el nino should uh, set in somewhere in the monsoon months and uh, after that uh, you know the the agri produce uh, we are not sure how it will be for the the coming financial year so uh, you know we are not sure about the trend in the tractor segment in fy24 but fy23 is uh, you know on a strong wicket thank you ashwin